pro educator and content creator here with Lashify. Welcome everybody, happy Tuesday. I am here today to show you guys the new addition to our family that should be coming out soon. I wanted to tease them, wanted to talk about them a little bit for you guys. So welcome and we are Lashify, the at-home DIY lash extension system. We are the inventors of this system and today I'm gonna to walk you through the control kit because I always think it's the perfect place to start and then we're gonna apply something pretty fabulous that's on my eye. Look at the difference with and without lashes, it's so crazy. But um, this may be a new addition to the family that I want you guys to see, so welcome. And if you have any questions at all, please ask down in the comments, put your name in first, then add your comment. We will have Lashify Bev here, one of our amazing educators, so she can answer any of your questions in the comments. If I don't see it, if she doesn't see it, just ask again, we're totally here to help you guys out. So welcome in everybody. So first and foremost, let's start with the control kit. And the reason I always introduce that is that it's so well thought out and it's the perfect plan and the perfect setup if you have not done anything with Lashify yet. So so you're gonna get this big beautiful box you can shop this right down below while we go through this is your control kit if you're like I want to start out with the system I don't know what to get I don't know what to try this is what you're gonna start out with we're gonna open this guy up and you have a couple things on top here first you have your wandums these are your silicone coverings that are gonna go over your wand they look like this and they slide right over your wand to give a wider fuse to the eye and to help with stickiness you're gonna get this nice card Ooh, it's stuck <laughs> and it has a QR code on the back when you scan this QR code it's gonna bring you to our how-to page it's got a ton of educational tutorials tips and tricks how to's anything that you can think of along with a follow along video so you're gonna sit down lay out your stuff for your control kit out and click this follow along video and you're gonna apply an eye together with our Lashify Pro Educator Jill and then you have this nice welcome card from our founder and CEO Sahara Lati and then in this foam insert here is your control kit I'm gonna take this out for a second and show you don't throw away this box underneath here is storage for 12 gossamer cartridges so you can start taking your lashes and popping them in like so and then you can start collecting and storing all of your gossamer lashes so don't throw this box out and it closes nicely it's got a little magnetic flap so you can keep all of your lashes safe and sound take that out real quick put this back in and then I'm going to show you your control kit there she is. Lashify Bev is down in the comments. If you are on YouTube or on Facebook, please come join us. I'm on the website so I can see your comments and questions as well. If you get a control kit, first and foremost, they come in black and they come in white. So you can totally pick which one you want. Uh, I started out with black and then I got white afterwards. So I have both. <laughs> um, you really can't go wrong. The difference is just the color of the wand inside and then the curve of your wand, which you get to choose. So here's everything that comes in your kit. You get your dual sided whisper light bond. That's the bond I'm going to be used today to go through my lashes. It's specifically formulated with sensitive eyes in mind. There's no cyanoacrylates, no formaldehyde, no latex. It's made for the most sensitive of eyes. It's got dual sides with the same bond, just two different colors. So you can do two different things with it. So we'll see that in a moment. Here you have your patented hand-tooled, ergonomically designed fuse control wand. So this wand was specifically made to give a certain amount of pressure onto the eye and it has a certain blunt tip to it, so it's not sharp, to pick up the gossamer lashes and properly apply it to the eye. And when we say horizontal clamp force, we mean that when you fuse down after you have your whole lash map on, it's not going to break, damage, or put too much pressure onto the natural lashes. You get to pick your curve. So a classic curve, that's what I use. I have a larger, a larger, rounder eye. So that's what you would use to fuse here. If you find that you have a smaller eye, an eye with a more hooded lid, maybe a monolid eye, um, try the petite curve. So it has 10% less curve at the top there to help accommodate other eye shapes. So you get to choose which one you think is going to work best for you. And then here, here we have glass. This is your water resistant seal. You're going to apply glass to the lashes about 20 minutes after application and fusing and that's going to give a water resistant seal right along the spines here and it's really wonderful because it helps water beat off, it helps with sweating, swimming, all that great stuff and any excess stickiness that you may feel after application. And you get three cartridges of gossamer, so you only have to worry about picking what style you want. We give you 10, 12, and then another pack of 14 millimeters. So you get our three most popular styles to try out at first when you start out with a kit, which is really awesome. So you just have to worry about the styles. Amplify, or A, is our thinnest fiber, at least amount of curl. B is bold, so that has a little bit of a thicker fiber, close to mascara. And then C is our thin fiber, just like the A, but it has more of a lift and a curl to it. And then you have a nice magnified mirror, so you can put this down. This is slightly magnified, so when you're going to apply your lashes, I'm looking down into my mirror so I can see the underside of my natural lashes to go in and give application. And, oh my gosh, there's so many things that you get. 
when you first start out here, you get samples of our pre-cleanse and our melt away. So this is our prep step. You're gonna see me prep my lash with this in just a second. It is our Japanese cleansing water. And this is our melt away. This is our dual phase oil-based makeup remover that you're gonna hold over the closed eye for about 60 seconds or so. It's gonna break up the bond and the lashes will slide off so you get no lash damage to your natural lashes. And that is everything that comes in your kit for 125 bucks. So grab that down below. It's really awesome. It's thought out so well for you. And then you can start your lash fight journey. And then you're going to become obsessed. Because we all are. Trust me. So as you can see on my eye today, I have one eye done and one eye not done here. This is the new The Fabulous. See it when I turn? Can you see the color up against there? Tulip chocolate. So Tulip is one of our newest Gossamer lashes that's been added to the lash library, the lash family, and now it's coming out in a new softer hue and fiber chocolate. Chocolate is one of our mid-tone brown fiber colors, so you don't always have to get black. You can choose your fiber color. Um, Minx is more of our mid-tone cool brown, and chocolate is our warm, rich brown fiber. Look at that. They're really pretty. So just look how much you can see from my brow to my lashes too as well. Just a little bit softer, a little bit more refined especially too if you have lighter brown hairs um oh lighter brown hairs lighter blonde hairs a redhead you know really really fine skin um i think that the chocolate will always look really beautiful i also wear it and look at me you know what i mean like i have a deeper hue to my skin and it just uh feels good i love chocolate it's kind of nice too when the um summer light hits it when the sun hits it it's the most beautiful tone of brown so they are coming to the family. They are dropping very soon. Make sure you are signed up for SMS on the website to get notified. Make sure you signed up for emails to get notified of all of our drops when they happen. There's a little hair here. You can feel it when I talk. <laughs> um, so that way you know when they come out because it's very soon. So let's put them on so you can see how they work, how they apply. The tulips is really nice because when you go to overlap them ever so slightly, they give kind of this... I don't know, they just pair so well together. But they have a little bit of a separation in them, which is really cool. So I'm gonna have Tulip Thick in my hand over here so you can see the difference. So this is Tulip on my eye here, so it's a thinner fiber. And this is Tulip Thick, which is the thicker fiber. So you can totally choose which one you like. Today I'm going to do Tulip, and then I come back on Thursday and I'm gonna do Tulip Thick, so you'll be able to see both this week. Hi Gloria, right now I am wearing the new tulips in chocolate. They'll be launching soon. And I did a C plus eight in Minx on the inner corner, and then I did 10s, 12s, 14s, 16s, and 14s. So you could see quite a range of lengths on my eye as well. So let's apply. So, doo -doo -doo. can you see me? I thought I froze there for a second. Am I good, Miss Beth? Okay, so let's start by prepping our lashes. I'm going to use our Japanese cleansing water that I was talking about. This is our prep step. It's called pre-cleanse. So I'm going to take my fluffer brush and just dip right into here. Tap off any excess. I'm going to go through and brush through the natural lash from root to end to make sure that there's no residue, uh, oil, old bond, any makeup maybe from my lids. I don't want anything that's going to keep me from having a good application with our bonds. So by taking this and running it through my lashes, it's going to just clean and prep my lashes for bonding. Close that lid up and I'm going to spill it. I have done that before, let me tell you, girl. <laughs> so then from there, I'm going to take my blow tool. Best $7 I ever spent. When you go to get your control kit, I say shop the blow tool as well because it's just a quick seven beans. It's super easy. You can take this and give a directional puff of air to the eye. It helps speed up all drying times. If your lashes are wet, if they become wet when you're swimming, while you're doing your bonding, you're going to want a blow tool. It's really awesome. Just give that a nice little blow. Perfect. And we're good to go. So from there, let's talk about bonding. I'm going to use the dual-sided whisper light that comes in your control kit. I'm going to start on the side that says black on the bottom. I'm going to run this through my lashes from root to end. We're going to be doing one of our trademark techniques. This is called the frosting method. So I'm going to go from root to end, just gently applying all through the lash to make sure that every lash is coated in a nice light thin coat. Like so. And the key with this is you don't want anything to clump up or get too heavy. So just some nice light even swipes through the lashes and then call it a day. Also, if you want to make sure every lash is coated, you can go vertical too. If you got to get in there on these little inner corner guys or through the lashes. It's already getting tacky. <laughs> and then you're good to go like so. I'm going to close that bond back up and we're going to let that get tacky for about 15 to 30 seconds using my blow tool. 
<laughs> Any questions at all, let us know down below. I look down and away because I wear contacts and I don't want to dry them out. <laughs> if you ever see me doing that, that's why. Awesome. So from there now, we're going to do the part about frosting. So we're going to go to this side of our bond with the white text. It says clear on the bottom. This goes from white and it dries down clear. I'm going to get nice and close for you guys. Lift this up and I'm going to go one to two millimeters from my waterline. I'm going to dab the bond like so. Okay. And then from there, I'm going to take a flat ended brush and my little micro guy. I love this little brush for doing this. And I'm going to brush up the bond to coat or frost up my lashes without building too much of the black whisper light on there but it's giving a nice coat and hold through all the lashes hi donna how are you like so and you can see it speeds up drying time because it's going from white to clear right away and you're good to go perfect now, if you find that you haven't coated every lash and you need to do step two again, totally fine. You'll just take that Whisper Light Clear again and do the exact same thing I just did. You're gonna do some dabs, one to two millimeters from the waterline, take your flat ended brush and frost up the lashes to give a nice even coating. And you're good to go. If you wanna make sure it gets a little tackier, you can use your blow tool for another couple seconds and then you're good. Great way to find out if everything's tacky enough, take your finger, you're just gonna tap and you see how that's sticking in my finger? That's how I know that it's nice and tacky and it's good to go. If it wasn't sticking and it's just a little too wet or too slick, I'm just gonna take your bow tool for another couple of seconds and make sure that it gets nice and tacky and then you're good. Awesome. Okay, so now let's apply. So I'm going to do the regular tulips today in chocolate. I have them laid out here nicely for us. I have a C plus eight in Minx. And then, so I can have that for the inner corner, I like a little something simple on the inner corner. Although the way that these spines are, they're absolutely incredible. Probably don't need to, but I just always happen to do that. And then we have here a 10, 12, 14, two 16s and a 14. And we're gonna slightly overlap. And then when we go to fuse, everything's just gonna become one. It's really awesome. Let's use my gold wand today, my antique gold. I have a bunch of my wands here, so we're gonna do that. So middle and pointer finger in front, thumb in the back. So that when I grab my gossamer lash, I'm gonna have my elbow up a little bit. So when I go into apply, it's just real simple. I do my second lash first, about here. I work my way out and then I'll do my inner corner lash just to make sure I have enough lash hairs there. This is the tulip in chocolate. Look how flat that is. It's so beautiful, it's so good. They're so pretty. I'm gonna take my mirror, I'm gonna put it underneath me. So that way I can see one to two millimeters from my waterline. I'm gonna look down, since I'm starting about here, I'm gonna look down so that I hit my lash first, and boom, it just hooks on like so. If I love my placement, I'm good to go, and we keep applying, and you'll just see it start to build. So next we're gonna go up in millimeter length, so we're gonna go from 10 to 12. I'm gonna grab that towards the top, curve always facing me, if you need to grab a couple more across, you can do that too, like so. I'm gonna look down and overlap ever so slightly. And when I say that, I just want the corners to kind of mesh with each other, like so. So I just want them to kind of anchor and mesh with one another. So that's a 12. And we're gonna go up to a 15. When I lay these on the silicone lash pad, just be really gentle when picking them up. These are so, there we go finally made that you want to just be really delicate. You don't want to break any when you're picking it up from the lash pad. So I'm going to go up to a 12. I'm looking down again so I can see that one to two millimeters from my waterline and boom. Look to see if I like the placement and I do and I'm good to go. If I don't like the placement since I haven't done a full fuse yet, I could always gently take this lash, take it off like so, go back in and grab it from the top and then reapply. And that's totally okay. If you want to make sure that your placement's good, you want to like where you put that lash, that's totally fine. Actually, I didn't like where I put it the second time around. See, it happens to the rest of us, let me tell you. Just wanna angle it a little bit more. There we go. And if I'm worried about it budging or moving, I can always just do a little soft pinch just to give it like a tap. Hi, Debbie, welcome in. Um, so then you can go on with the rest. So from there, let's do two 16s now. 
going to take my first 16 so we're working our way up in millimeter length so the longest lengths are going to be like basically where the arch of my brow is and then i just slightly go down to a 14 so it's not too much of a tapered wing it's kind of got more of a lift um and then rounds off just at the end so then let's take our 16 look down boom and it just sticks on there that frosting method good to go you're letting your bond get nice and tacky it just sticks and grips right on there so then let's do our last two lashes i'm gonna take one more 16. overlap just a little bit look down just so that they're lined right up and boom and then a 14 right on the end as well and we should be good you just see, you just pick up your next lash and go on the outer, look at that. Wow, these are tacky, so sorry, <laughs> it's okay. Um, one thing about the outer corner as well is that I like to take the spine of it and make sure that it's more parallel to the ground. Reason for that, sorry about that little snafu, it happens, um, is that I wanna make sure that it gives a good lift to the eye. If it follows the uh, curve of my eye or the plane of my natural lash line, it could kind of give me a droop. I want to make sure that it's nice and lifted. So I'm just taking this, making sure the spine is a little more parallel, and boom. And then you have that nice lift on the end of your eye. Awesome. I thought I saw a question. Do you carry the lower lashes as well? Miss Beth, what do we have? Anything? Am I think. might help Miss Gloria out. Awesome. So then let's put our C plus 8 on the inner corner. And the plus collection is our advanced collection of the core gossamers and they also come in different fiber colors so i'm taking this c plus eight in minx which is our cool tone brown but you can't you look how nicely it blends on the inner corner with the rest of the lashes so that way it finishes off the inner corner it's a thinner fiber more gentler lash not a volume lash or anything it just fits better it just works <sighs> just amazing I'm gonna switch back here too to the control kit. So if you are new here, start out with the control kit. It's the best place to start. And when these tulip chocolates launch, you can always add them into your collection. So then let's take that C plus eight, look on the inner corner, overlap, and then boom, good to go. Just like that. So then from there we need to fuse. And the reason fusing is so, so important is because you need to make sure that your natural lashes, the bond you've put on your natural lashes, and your new gossamer lashes all become one. Or it just doesn't, doesn't fusing is just super important. You have to do it. You have to make sure that you get all of that. It's pressure that creates the adhesion that creates everything to become one. So I'm gonna take my glass and I'm just gonna rub it a little bit in between my wands like this. Hi, are the tulips more delicate than the C plus? No, no, I think they're great. Um, I would say that the plus collection is the most delicate of our collections. This is a step up from that. They have that really same delicate, pretty fiber to them, but um, I think they're just a little bit more durable, if that makes sense. Gloria, are you a Membership X member by any chance? Question for you there. So let's go in and fuse. I'm going to run this along my eye, get right down under the spines, and then close, making sure that this is closed all the way. You want to make sure that it's closed all the way to give a proper full fuse. Wait about 10 seconds or so, and then release. If it gets sticky at all, blank away. Don't yank the fuse control wand away. You don't want to damage your natural lashes. And then I'm gonna look down, and if I need to get on these inner corners at all, I just give a little fuse here. Outer corner, same thing. And then I think I'm good to go. If I don't like something, I can move it again still. Like this one felt just a little bit too close to my inner corner or my waterline, so I just wanna rearrange that as well. Better to do it now while you're doing everything as opposed to like days later, you're like, gosh, that hurts. But you can also do that too. That's the beauty of the system. There we go like angled strange sorry about that yeah look at these mm -hmm. oh yeah those are pretty you can just see that one to two millimeters from the waterline that placement you don't want anything on the waterline you don't want anything to be too close to the waterline because when you blink the moisture can get up under the lashes cause them to lift or move you don't want to deal with that <laughs> and then from there also comfort and longevity as well and it's what they look like from the side oh yeah 
there you can really see with the tulip that nice like cross weave V action that makes the tulip the tulip. Can you see that right there? And then from the top, the most beautiful part is we call this lash cleavage. No harsh band, no heavy line. Since we are the underlash system, it's amazing. Gloria, I wanted, um, I'm pretty, pretty sure, I don't want to steer you in the wrong direction, that they are available for those that are part of our Membership X program. So just double, triple check on that. I think Ms. Bev is checking for you too. Just don't want to give you any wrong information um, about the lower lash line one. You can also take our night bond, which is our other sealer, and you can run that along and then brush a spoolie through it, and it works a lot like mascara for the lower lash, which is pretty cool too. You can also take a little shadow, give a little dimension, be good to go. So yeah, so these are the newest addition to our family, the tulip chocolates. And on Thursday, I'm gonna do the tulip chocolate fix. The tulip thick chocolate. <laughs> I always get tongue tied there. So you can see the difference. So these ones on my eye are the regular tulip and these ones here are the thick. So you can see like the difference in fiber thickness. Can you see that? So you'll be able to see both in each one, but they should be available very, very soon. So make sure you're signed up for those SMSs. Um, for the alerts, make sure you sign up for email alerts because these puppies are gonna be coming out very soon. You can get regular tulips right now in our traditional black fiber, and then the chocolates in both the regular size and the thick size will be coming out soon. So we just wanted to, you know, give you guys a little sneak peek of what's coming next. It's so exciting. You can definitely tell when I turn up against my black background, you can see how it is a warmer fiber color. Look at that. Great. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Come. Okay. That's what I thought. Thank you, Bev. Um, yes. So they're called the baby lash. They are the six millimeter lash and the band is made. You can place them right along the bottom lash line. I just want to double check for you there. Uh, come join us in the Lash My Life Facebook group. That is our community group where we share all of our tips and tricks and our fun videos, lash maps. Oh, I tried this map today and I applied this and this and we connect all about that in there. It has over 120,000 members in it now. So that's pretty cool. It's a really awesome community of people. Uh, and then, yeah. I'll be back on Thursday with some tulip thick. They might, they may or may not be out by then. So we'll be applying them together or you'll be learning a new lash map. So when they come in the mail, you'll be like, oh my gosh, I know how to put them on. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for moderating Miss Bev. I hope everyone has a really good rest of their week. Sign up for those emails so that you don't.